Race highlights here for the first race of Super Formula 2023. A good start initially from the front of the grid for Tomoki Nigiri. A good one from Toshiki Oyu. He managed to charge his way through to second position. Liam Lawson held his nerve. There was a little bit of contact further back though as Yui Sekiguchi pummeled into the side of Kenti Yamashita with Kamui Kobayashi suffering damage. There were problems for Sena Sekiguchi. He didn't get away. And then Tadasuke Nakano going over the top nearly of Shotsuboi's Inging whole team out within the first two laps of racing. Safety car came out to repair the debris and remove it from the front corner. But Liam Lawson was a man on a mission right from the outset. Not to be intimidated by Toshiki Oyu or indeed Ritomo Miyata. Both drivers challenging Liam Lawson's fight for second place. Lawson would not give best to Toshiki Oyu. A rude awakening as the rookie came straight up to fight for his first victory in his first attempt. He absolutely stormed the regular contenders at the front end of the field. There were great battles all the way through the field, though, as TGM Grand Prix saw a bit of a resurgence from Toshiki Oyu. The teammates in Impul would battle for most of the race until Yui Sekiguchi would end up with a penalty for his part in the incident at Turn 1. Tomoki Nijiri did his best to handle Liam Lawson, but the undercut was always going to favour the Kiwi over the two-time Super Formula champion. And with big speed and big confidence, Liam Lawson ran round the outside of his Team Mugen teammate to take the lead and the first rookie victory for nearly half a century. Ryo Hirakawa fought his way forward, though, to battle away with Toshiki Oyu and Ritima Miyata, and he managed to get his way into third in the closing stages. Miyata was the one who came in and hoped to try and springboard the Mugens, but neither he nor Ryo Hirakawa could leapfrog them after their pit stop. It was always going to be a tough battle. And eventually, Ritomo Miyata losing out to Naoki Yamamoto. The podium gone for the Vantolin Team Tom's car as Naoki Yamamoto and Ryo Hirakawa made good work of him. And Hirakawa managing to get into the podium. Then the contact that ended the race. Nero Fukuzumi and Giuliano Alesi too close for comfort. And two points finishes absolutely gone. The safety car came out. And sadly, the debris was too much. But Liam Lawson taking his first win and his first attempt. The first rookie to do so this century and the first rookie to do so in Super Formula for nearly half a century. Race two at Fuji Speedway in Super Formula 2023 really was a spectacular fight from the get-go. Toshiki Oyu desperately trying to get past Tomoki Nijiri down to the first corner. Certainly gone alongside him, wasn't able to make good use of it. But the battles raged nice and early. Liam Lawson dropping back to sixth position. Miyata, Tsuboi and Yamashita taking full advantage. But Toshiki Oyu's move on Tomoki Nijiri to take the lead. Absolutely spectacular. The safety car came out as Kakunoshi Nota tangled with Giuliano Malesi. And Malesi in the Tom's Toyota was out on the first corner. The safety car came out, which triggered absolute chaos. 20 of the 21 remaining drivers came into the pits on the same lap which gave Ryo Hirakawa a chance to fight back after a 10 second that he had to serve in the first 10 minutes. Toshiki Oyu having to serve a bit of a slow pit stop, giving Tomoki Nijiri the chance to leapfrog him. And that is what turned the tables between the two. Toshiki Oyu fought back on the restart, but this lockup would lead to a slow puncture in the closing stages. And despite getting past Nojiri initially, he couldn't sustain it. And he was just on a one-way trip backwards down the field. First it was Shotsuboi that took advantage. Then Kenta Yamashita had his battles. And on Yamashita's comeback to the world of racing, having had an injury pre-season, that moment was the only black spot on Yamashita's entire race. Liam Lawson tried his best to take him back. Yamashita was not prepared to give away a podium and showed Lawson who was boss. Some great battles all the way through. Yamashita had to deal with Lawson later again. Lawson got him. But by that point, it had emerged that Lawson was going to take a five-second penalty for holding up the field on the way into the pits. Lawson got his move on Toshiki Oyu, but then the penalty information relayed back to the Team Mugen driver. Sadly, at this point, Toshiki Oyu's race was just falling by the wayside as first Kenti Yamashita and then Ritima Miyata took him on. The flat spot and the slow puncture costing Toshiki Oyu dear, and any chance of a podium or even points was long gone. It would be a similar story for Ryo Hirakawa. He would make his final pit stop on lap 39 with just two to go. Unfortunately, the wheel not tightened up and his race was over. 
So the chequered flag was being prepared for the man who was the king of the roost in Super Formula as Ryo Hirakawa parked it up on the sidelines. His main rival of last year and the king of Super Formula returned to the top as Tomoki Nijiri took his ninth win and significantly, probably his most important of his career. Tomoki Nijiri is back and a winner again. Let's look back at what happened. McKee, well, he didn't get going at all. Rensato as well. Oh, back into the carriage. And the race put on the way. Boyu, who would lead down in turn one. Shosu Boy in second. And Tomoki Nijiri settling into third. The big battle was further back. Nijiri, Yamashita. Liam Lawson as well, having to work hard. Tomo Miyata would be battling up the field. Little did he know what was to come. Oh, TGM Grand Prix left it late. Shikioi would come out ahead of Tomoki Nijiri and then this clumsy at best from Tomoki Nijiri. The Super GT teammates as they headed up the S-curves and Najiri having to apologise. That would bring out the safety car. Ritomo Miyata, who hadn't stopped, the likes of Hirakawa too, would come out right behind Shosu Boy and Liam Lawson, who had been working so hard as two of the early stoppers to gain the net lead. When the race finally got underway, it was this fantastic battle. Tomo Miata ahead of Liam Lawson. And then he would set his sights on Shosu Boy and cruise around the outside into turn one to snatch the lead. A lead that he never re relinquished as Hirakawa into third ahead of Liam Lawson. When the checkered flag came out, Tomo Miata realized his dreams. His first Super Formula win. Let's look back over the highlights of a fabulous race. It's Saboy from pole position, Liam Lawson from second, but it was Saboy's teammate, Senna Sakaguchi, that got the better start. And the engine crew led one and two into the first corner in fabulous fashion. And a really strong race battle began in earnest. Liam Lawson did his best to try his way through. Kimui Kobayashi was one of the big movers in the early phase of the race for KCMG. But from his pit stop onwards, his challenge faded. Liam Lawson decided to pit first of the big guns and he got himself up into traffic potential problem for the Kiwi early on, but he managed to make good use of it over time. The battle began between Shotsuboy and Ritomo Miyata as the Tom's driver closed in on the engine, but out of the pit stops, Shotsuboy couldn't keep in front of Liam Lawson. He got through. Then a safety car was triggered by this incident between Toshiki Oyu and Sena Sakaguchi. The pair collided, Toshiki Oyu went into the gravel, the safety car came out, and despite the timing of it, Ritomo Miyata needed to make his pit stop which he did under safety car as Toshiki Oyu sat crying on the sidelines. Ritomo Miyata ended up pitting in and to no avail. Even he wasn't able to get out in front of Liam Lawson in the pit stops. On the restart, Liam Lawson found immaculate pace and Ritomo Miyata was able to take on Shotsu Boy for a thrilling battle that lasted two laps of great no holds barred racing. Miyata having to push right to the white line to get through into second position. But Liam Lawson has now made it two wins out of four, and the young Kiwi is in emphatic style. Taking the lead of the championship at the halfway point, it's up to him to see this title fight through. Here are the highlights from the fifth race of the Super Formula Championship. Poor starts for Najiri and Hirakawa, whilst Oyu spent his time defending from Iata through the first corner. Saboy got through into third, with Lawson and Makino dueling away for B4. Then Giuliano Malesi lost the car and ended up skewing into the side of Yui Sekiguchi. Both races over pretty much there and then. They both tried to recover, but there was too much damage. Safety car leveled things up. Then Ritomo Miyata hunted down Toshigi Oyu, went for the lead and took it with grace and dignity. A brilliant charge. From there, it was absolute plain sailing from Ritomo Miyata. Shotsuboy also managed to get past Toshigi Oyu and it was clear that all was not well with the TGM Grand Prix driver. OU cannoned into the gravel trap, and he would drop to the back of the grid and then retire. Miata, one of the first of the big names to pit, and he got himself into a perfect rhythm. He was never going to be beaten 
by Liam Lawson, Tomoka Najiri, or Sho Tsuboi. He made mincemeat of them all. Najiri tried his best to get through past Ritima Miyata, but once Miyata had him held, there was no going back for him. He pulled away and disappeared into the distance. There were some great drives through the field, a fabulous defensive strategy in the closing stages from Kazuya Oshima to hold on to fourth place in front of the gutsy Liam Lawson and the determined Kamui Kobayashi. But it's Ritima Miyata who takes his second win of the season and the 23-year-old puts himself into the firing line as a potential Super Formula 2023 champion. What a race and what a last four races of the year we have coming. Ritima Miyata, this is your time in the sunshine.